since I have a uh, 70 megahertz oscillator in my little uh, collection here, uh, I went on to eBay and looked around for filters that could go with it. Um, I would have liked to have a uh, maybe a multiple, a 170 or or something else, just to show uh, show something. But I did find a 70 megahertz so uh, 70 megahertz saw filter, and it was. I think six dollars and ninety-five cents, so couldn't pass it up. And it's by Sawtech, and it has, yep, has all the parts. So it's a, it's a nice package. It's a, it's a good size, so it should fit. It should fit in one of these. Um, ooh, it just barely fits. Wow. <laughs> anyway, so it'll make a good. Uh, to make a good little filter. Now, I don't know if you remember, but the 70 megahertz was kind of a square wave, and so it outputted a whole bunch of harmonics. So by inserting a, a filter, uh, it eliminates all the other harmonics, and we should be able to get a sine wave out of this thing. So uh, that's the, uh, that is the hope. Um, I've seen tricks like this in uh, a piece of HP equipment, they needed a high frequency. They needed, let's say they needed 500 megahertz. And so they generated 100 megahertz, but they generated a square wave, and then it created all of these uh, harmonics. And then they put in a 500 megahertz filter, and boom, they got a, a 500 megahertz clock and you know got rid of everything else. So it's, it was a good trick. Instead of having to build a high frequency oscillator, they just built a square one. And, filtered out after the fact. So anyway, I think the 70 megahertz will be kind of fun too. So uh, let me see if I can, uh, I don't think it'll be this one. We'll find another one here. I think maybe this one. Anyway, uh, let me get to uh, get to work here and see if we can't uh, fit this inside the, uh, inside the donor body here and uh, get it going. All right, I think I'll use this one. I, I had previously put uh, one of those 880 megahertz filters in, in here just for uh, just for fun, but I really don't have I really don't like this filter. I don't really have any use for it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that filter and put in the 70 megahertz filter, and I think it'll be a be a better uh, a better project. So let me uh, let me get that one out of there and see if I can't figure out how to fit that one in there. All right, uh, kind of have it in there. I don't have the quite the right lens for this uh, for this close up, but uh, I think you can kind of see it's just tacked in there. Fits in there diagonally just fine. So let's uh, sweep it and see if it really is 70 megahertz or not. So we'll go over, uh, we'll go down over here to the uh, Nano and uh, sweep it. Let's, uh, Set up the Nano so you guys can can see it better. I put it in a in my vise over here so you can. So I can put the uh, put the camera on it without any glares. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Uh, that's probably good enough. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, we have a little dip there. Uh, this is the return loss, so we have a dip, uh, dip occurring. Usually, there's a dip at the uh, at the filter. Uh, let's see, right at oh, 220 megahertz. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's go to trace. Let's put in the. Uh, Oh, maybe this filter isn't what they say it is. Hmm. Let's turn off that one and let's turn off that one. And hmm. This is a very strange filter. Uh oh. Maybe it needs some other. Oh no, there it is. I need to have a good ground. That ground that I have in there is not working. All right, another RF ground issue. So I'm going to hold my. I'm gonna hold my fat fingers here, and we have something down there at 70, 
70 megahertz. So let's see back. Oops. Uh, stimulus center 70, 70 megahertz. Let's span a five megahertz and we'll span a 10 megahertz. And yeah, that looks like a soft filter, but it's very broad. So let's span 50 megahertz. Yeah, there it is. So it is a filter. It has lots of attenuation, which means it's probably needs to be biased or something. Um, wow. So, oh, there we go. Oh, well, that might be a little bit better. Maybe these, yeah, these, uh, there's pins. Can you see that? There's pins that don't look like they should be part of the shielding, but I think they're probably RF grounds. Yeah, so let me let me add those two grounds and we'll uh, see if this filter gets better. All right, well, uh, I added grounds to both sides uh, to these unused pins on the package. So it looks as though this is a different type of soft filter than I'm used to. It has a it has ground pins that come out individually as well as a case as well as a case ground. Usually just the case ground is enough. So we are getting a 70 megahertz uh, filter and it is pretty narrow. Now uh, I had a viewer tell me that probably the reason that the out of band conditions are so bad when I do this measurement is because the, the filter itself is not designed for 50 hertz and that you need to match it. Uh, just like an antenna, you need to match it for best best uh, case. If we turn on the Smith chart, you can see that um, we're actually way over here in the Smith chart. So uh, there's a lot of um, uh, capacitance and phase shift. So we really should put in a matching network to try to get it back up. So um, what do we need to do? We need to add, uh, let's see, this is an open, this is a short. So we need to put a inductor, inductor in parallel with the input. And then that should bring it up. Um, now what inductor? I don't know. I haven't done RF matching network. So, um, but some inductor should bring it up to the 50 uh, 50 ohm point, and then the skirts should, should come down. But, uh, it is what it is for now. Um, it does have about a 20 dB loss, so it's not a very good insertion, uh, for this particular thing. Now, I don't know if the insertion will go up if we, if we fix this, uh, if they're here or not. Now, somebody said I could just put in a series resistor and make things get better. And, I don't have an easy way to do that. Um, and I'm not sure if that helps or not, but we could try to give it a try. Um, but anyway, let me, um, let me go ahead and Well, anyway, it is a 70 megahertz filter. Maybe I'll play with it some more and try to make it better. But uh, um, I had a viewer uh, tell me that I should probably go and take a look at maybe putting in a series resistance to see maybe if the thing gets better. Um, instead of driving it at 50 ohms, maybe driving it at something less. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so if this is 50 in the center, then maybe some some fairly large resistance. They say that these filters probably aren't designed at 50 ohms or something else, so maybe a larger resistor. Now that's going to kill power throughput um, into something else that's 50 ohms, but uh, it would match it in here. Uh, the other thing that I know is we could use an LC matching network to get to the center, just exactly what Smith charts are, are designed to do. And it looks to me as though... 
uh, we would have a little bit of work to get to get this up to the top if we put in a parallel a, a, a inductor to ground we can get it to start going in this direction and uh, that certainly would help but I think we wouldn't get to the 50 50 uh, 50 point I wish the Smith yard had both sets of circles on it it only has one set of circles so you can't really uh, can't really guess things but I if we use the other side and then try to mentally flip it um, yeah we're probably going to end over way too way too much uh, resistance so anyway um, all right so I have the uh, 70 megahertz oscillator here running into the uh, sorry running into the uh, spectrum analyzer and we can see we have a whole bunch of harmonics so now I'm going to put the filter in series so we will disconnect that and put the put the new uh, filter in series with the uh, 70 megahertz and yeah look at that we've uh, certainly killed uh, killed that second harmonic the third harmonic is still fairly large but uh, you know um, yeah it looks pretty good I can continue to work on it um, let's see if I can yeah look at that I'm adding more RF ground uh, if you don't know what I'm doing here I'm, I'm gonna put my tweezers in I'm gonna add a big fat RF ground I can basically get rid of that second harmonic altogether look at that uh, no tweezers and tweezers so uh, yeah I need to have a need to have a better better RF ground maybe just the let's see maybe just the put the lid on I don't know I don't I think there's some glue on it. Let me put it on upside down so it makes better contact. Does that make it better? Yeah, it does seem to make it better. So, yeah, maybe just packaging it up uh, gets rid of that little one. Did you see what I was doing there? I'm sorry. I was putting the uh, putting the lid on this thing, and that seems to help too. Yeah, I'll work on a little bit more grounding in there and button it up, and uh, have a 70 megahertz filter to go with my. Uh, 70 megahertz oscillator.